Today I'm going to walk you through how to change a through hole fitting or stopcock. I will explain what they are and how they work and how they break and I'll demonstrate how to replace them. Through hole fittings are areas on the boat where water can either come into the boat or exit the boat. When it, water comes in that's like cooling the uh, refrigeration and cooling engine and generator and when we water is exiting it is generally grey water or water from the sinks also deck water or wastewater leaving the boat. The purpose of a, a through hole fitting is like I was saying to let water in or take water out but also you have a stopcock on it which was close off the area so either water can not come into the boat or exit the boat when you're working on say the strainers where the water comes in goes through a strainer and into and cools the engine and generator now if i need to clean that strainer if i just opened it all up water would just come flooding into the boat and it would sink it and that's what we don't want so what we do is we close the stopcock off which is a ball valve in a pipe and it closes it all off so the water can't come in or go out and then we can work on what we need to like i.e cleaning the strainer also it's to keep um, toilet waste and grey water waste in the boat because you're in an area where you don't want to put grey water or especially wastewater into a bay like we're in at the moment also if the pipe or something happens to the system where it, it, the pipe splits um, and water is coming in you want to be able to stop that coming in as quickly as possible so you can switch the uh, stopcock off and that will uh, stop the water coming in and then you can deal with it as, as and when. So this is the hull of Britikin and this is a through hull and um, in here is a ball at the moment it is open um, because it is in parallel and then what you do is you push that down that way and then it, the ball closes off so that will stop water either coming in or going out. So if we actually open this up now, water would not come in. But now it's open. If we accidentally open that up, water would be gushing in. Stopcocks on a boat. We have 23 of them on here. So every month I try and exercise them. And what that does, it it's clearing any growth that is coming on. Because most of these are underwater. And barnacles and creatures and all sorts start to grow in them. And if you leave them open or you leave them closed, what will happen is the creatures will grow into the pipes, and where the ball cut comes round, it's going to be blocked by barnacles and creatures and, and growth. So, what you want to do is make sure that you exercise them at least once a month. And what that does is it clears them, clears them and gets them all nice and clean so that they're, they're, they're working quite well. But if you don't do that what might happen which happened to us is when you turn the handle the actual because it's made out of um, bronze it's a, it's not it's not a very strong metal and what will happen is it twists and it twisted off and so we had it half open half close which is no good for anything so we had to change it if it does happen to break off or it's you're struggling to close it with the handle and you don't want to break it off you can use a wrench or a spanner to help you assist you with it you can try and lubricate it but it doesn't always work and that means that you need to then replace the through hole. Oh, it's amazing. Dan's here. Dan's here. Hey, Dan, 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 Dan. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, Dan, Dan, the pig man from Sandstar came. We're um, up in Martinique at the moment and we're uh, having a, uh, a pig, not a pig roast, we're having a lamb roast on the beach. So he was just coming over to st set up the box and start it up. Really, don't tell the wise, but it's actually guys just drinking beer on the beach before they all come while we're, while we're cooking. Shh, don't tell them. So, what? Brick comes out the water to get the copper coat done, and what I don't want is if it rains, we've got through holes coming through, and the water goes through onto the deck drains and through and out under the hole. Um, and I don't want that to run all down on the paint and uh, make it issues with the copper coat because um, water is running all over it so what I was trying to do was went round and I closed every stopcock and as it happens it's a boat and one snapped so I had to get it replaced we're, lucky for us we were out of the water so it wasn't really an issue we could just get it replaced as soon as possible so here's the process uh, that we went through to replace the through hole fitting so our first step is to take the pipe off the fitting and this can be a little bit hard at some times. Okay, so we've got the pipe off, and now we're just trying it, and, <laughs> and it's on tight. Okay, so we've got that bit off. Now 
we're trying to get this bit off. This one we're going to have to take out. Uh, we were hoping that we could unscrew it from the top there, but we can't, so it's got to take out. And of course, we're painting, and that's why it's so frustrating owning a boat sometimes. Because we couldn't take it off from inside, we had to grind off the uh, mushroom bulb on the bottom and of the boat. Said I yeah. So all I need to just tap off this, so this is going to work on. Okay. As with everything, it took a lot longer than anticipated. But like everything on a boat, with a little hard work and a bit of friendly persuasion, it did come out. So this is what it looks like when everything is come out, and this is taken from the outside of Britigan. So that's the hole where the new stopcock's going to go. And here's the new stopcock and the fittings for it. So what we need to do now is put 5200 on it all the way around, and that's a permanent sealant and that's going to be held that's the part that goes on the bottom of the boat and the female then attaches to the stopcock on the inside so here he is attaching it to the hull of the boat is that 5200 as well yeah like the same thing. yeah so he's put 5200 on the bottom and 5200 on the top now we're going to screw it down with the big nut So here's a piece of wood that they're putting up through to stabilise it as he can tighten it down. So this is what it looks like when it's nice and flush and all the 5200 as you can see is all a nice seal around it. The bottom mushroom fitting is through on the other side, it's come up, there's the female uh, fitting here which is this threaded bit here, then they, they turned on they pulled down on the nut tightened it all up and then put the actual stopcock onto it sealed that onto screwed it back on and then the fit, top fitting they screwed that in and sealed that with 50, all 5200 and then we put the pipe back on so here on Britikin we have these wooden bungs and the different sizes because the different sizes of uh, through holes so what happens if this fails this pipe splits the stopcock we close it and there's still water coming through what we can do is we can seal it we'll take this off or whatever and then we hammer it through and it seals up into and stops water coming in and we have different sizes on all our stopcocks so i would never done this before and so what I always do is if I've never done it before um, I try and get guys to do it and then I watch them and thanks to Palm Tree Marine for helping me do this and for letting me video it thanks guys did a great job thank you hopefully that now you've seen this video that you'll be able to feel more confident in doing it yourself so my lovely wife Kim has uh, created a checklist on great tips and useful information on replacing and servicing through holes so visit sailingbrisigan.com forward slash through dash hull dash fittings for full details today I'm going to do yeah. it. <laughs> Yay! I got it! Okay, so we can start that.